Hello everyone and welcome back to our series of Making Magic at Home and our frosty adventure story, Igloo. But before we can continue on our adventure into the icy snow and the cold winds, I think we should warm up. We can warm up our hands by wiggling those fingers. Let me see them stretch. And keep them stretching. Now, but we also need to make sure our faces are nice and warm. So let's, why not give our faces a rub? Like this. Mm. Now, can we make a really, really big face? Like as stretch it as far as you can, like ah. Well done. And how about a small face? Squinch mm. everything up really tight. Really tight. And stretch again. Oh. And stretch. And stretch. Oh. And stretch. And stretch. Oh. Well, that's our faces nice and warm. But can we warm up our bodies? I wonder if we can lean down as far as we can. Let's keep stretching. Lean down as far as you can and tuck yourself into a little tiny ball. And yes, you almost look like an igloo, don't we? Stretch. Let me see those arms, nice and wide. Well done. And back down again. And stretch. And now, whenever I think of the snow, I always think of somebody skiing. So, I wonder if we can pretend to ski. So let's take the arms and let's go. So stretch one arm out and then the other arm and then pull the arm back and pull the arm back like we're using the ski poles and let's go skiing down this hill keep us nice and warm and can we go faster oh no we're gonna we're gonna lose control we need to slow down let's give that one more go and then i think we might be warm enough ready after three one Two, three. Let's go ski! Whee! <gasps> and remember, if you can, we can use your legs as well. Stepping like you would on the skis. You can even run on the spot if you want to. <sighs> well done, everyone. That's great. Now we're nice and warm, we can venture out into the snow and continue our story. Now where were we? I remember. So our adventurer found an igloo. I wonder who's going to call this home, she thought. I'm sure somebody should live here. She waited a bit longer. But still, nobody came. What do you think the inside of an igloo would look like? Do you want to have a go at building your own? This is the model of my igloo. If you want to make your own igloo at home, please check our website where there'll be a step-by-step -step guide on how you can do so. You can make it from anything you find in your house. Have fun! Well 
welcome back. I hope you enjoyed exploring your igloo. I wonder if you could share with me what you found. You can send them to me like this. Or like this. Or like this. I really look forward to seeing them. So, after our adventurer had had a good look around the igloo, looking at all the different patterns that were in the ice, she was thinking, it's quite cosy in here actually. Her shivers had almost completely gone. Then she started yawning. Oh, oh, all this adventuring making me tired. And it's so cosy in here. I might just lay down and have a little sleep. Just a short one. She used her scarf as a pillow and then she had a coat which she decided she would use as a blanket so she was nice and warm and snuggly and even though there was a roof on the igloo she would also like to imagine the stars once she was nice and relaxed, thinking of the stars in the sky. She thought of songs that her granddad used to sing to her when they were camping to try and help her sleep. Do you know what song he used to sing? He used to sing, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Do you know that one? Shall I sing it for you? Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star how I wonder what you are. Oh, dear me, that looks like it's hell. Shall we sing it again? Do you want to join in this time? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are as our adventurer drifts off to sleep She's dreaming of all the things that could happen tomorrow. She might meet a friend. But we're going to have to wait until next week to find out what happens. I look forward to seeing you then.